Welcome back to another video. It is Omar Does Things. In today's video, we're going to be testing out NFL wide receiver Tyreek Hill's workout routine. Tyreek Hill, if you know recently, he actually got traded to the Dolphins. So he's a wide receiver on the Dolphins now. But these are actually workouts that he does. And um, it's really going to help you out if you are in the wide receiver position or if you're just a skill player in general. If you do find any of these drills helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel because we're going to be coming out with a lot of videos, either testing out workout routines and doing different types of training styles from players in the NFL. These drills don't have to be done with the football. If you have one, you can do that with that if you have a tennis ball and you're working with that however you want to do it with the hand-eye coordination you can use whatever for the first drill i have it set up in a triangle formation first drill is a side cut and explode you want to start with your inside foot right facing the cone straight off you want to start here and then explode out so it's just a slide and explode it's more of a uh, wide receiver drill than it is a running back drill so it is kind of a different workout that's why i might not be as i'm not a wide receiver but these are wide receiver drills, so if, I've had, if I have any wide receivers out there, this will help you out with that. Second drill today is the one foot across the line, but really, that's just what we call the drill. It's more of a resistance drill, um, keeping your body like tight, but then focusing on your abdominal and moving over across the line. Um, essentially, that's what you do in the drill. So I'm gonna show Tyreek Hill and how they do it. They use a resistance band um, because, you know, it's a little bit, makes it a little bit harder, but for us, you know, we're going to be replicating the drill, so we're going to be just doing uh, cones for it. Um, and if you have a line of scrimmage, you can use a line of scrimmage. But if you don't, then just use cone. Focus on the movement. Don't get sla don't slack on it, and uh, make sure you focus on technique as well. So I'm going to show you how it's done, and then we're going to speed it up a little bit, and uh, let's get into it. We're going to start with doing the right foot, then you can do the left foot. Um, depending on how many sets you're doing, I want you guys to do four sets. That's kind of how you would do it if you really want to um, get to practice the momentum. You want to do four four sets on each. So I'm going to show you how we do it now. Two feet, cross, back, like that. Explode. Then you want to explode out. And you want to do it all the way down, depending on how many cones you're using, uh, line of scrimmage, depending on how far you go down. And obviously, if you're using resistance bands, it make it a little bit harder on the court. Um, but this is just you know, replicating it. So we're going to speed it up now, and I'll show you how it works. Third drill tonight, sprint up and then wrap around. So this is, you're gonna start off in a wide receiver stance, uh, not a running back stance. So you're not gonna be like this. Two point stance, you're gonna be more in a wide receiver stance. So you're gonna stand like this when you start off the drill. It's gonna help with um, certain route running skills. So if you're running short routes, you have to get around a cornerback real quick or make any quick moves. That's, this is really where it's gonna help you out at. So I'm gonna show you how it works. You're gonna see Tyreek Kill do it. And uh, we're gonna replicate it here. Set up the same way you had the first drill, triangle formation. Three cones, start at the peak of the triangle, and I'll show you. You're gonna sprint up, you're gonna wrap around the cone, and then sprint back down hard. You wanna stay low, so when you do this drill, the key is staying low, so if you go around the cone and you're up, and you're, you're staying straight up, then that's where you slack. You wanna really stay low on this drill. So you wanna start right here. Why are we super position? We're gonna to go to the right first, I'll show you how it works. Sprint up, cut, sprint back around, and drive back up. So I'm just gonna show you how it works a little bit. This drill, you're really going to do full speed. So when you're just practicing the motion, kind of getting the technique, that's where you just kind of practice. So sprint up, cut, and then back around. A quick cut, hard cut back down. And you could even see it if you kind of went like this. You would sprint up, kind of catch a ball or something like that, back around, catch a route for a wide receiver position. That's how you would do it as well. Fourth drill we have today, the same one we did for the third drill, you're just gonna do a full set instead of just hitting the one cone and kind of doing a hard cut to wrap around, you're gonna do a full set. So, same thing, sprint up, wrap around, but you're doing a full set in this one. So, I'm gonna explain how we do it. Every single time you hit and wrap around, you wanna make sure you stay low. And also, you wanna start off in a wide receiver stance when you start this drill. And if you're doing this with um, another teammate or a trainer, uh, you can always after you hit the last cone, which our last cone in this drill is going to be our red cone. After you hit the red cone, you could always have a trainer throw you a ball or pick up a fumble. Um, in this case, I can always put a ball at the end and pick up a fumble. Um, and you could do that as well. Whatever you're comfortable with, uh, most likely you want to start off with this foot like this. Five receiver stance and sprint up, wrap around, sprint up, wrap around, wrap around. Pick it up and run out with it. 
if you were to pick up a fumble, that's how you could do it. For middle linebacker position or open field fumble, however you want to look at it, that's how you could treat this. Drill five today, we're doing another drill by Tyreek Hill. I'm gonna show you how he does it as well before we get into it. So it's gonna be sprint up, juke move, change direction. You set the cones up in one hole formation. That's one of how you wanna have it set up. So I'm gonna explain it to you and show you how it works. And when you do this drill, you wanna really wanna focus on the footwork and technique before really speeding it up because it's a lot of different movements in one. So I'm gonna show you how we can replicate it. Also, before we get into it, this drill is gonna involve 10 cones. So if you have 10 cones at home, you can do this. Start here, sprint up, juke move, Nice break down. Sixth drill we have today is another sprint up, juke move, and change direction type of drill. But instead of cutting back around to the line of scrimmage like we did in the last drill, you're going to be sprinting out kind of like if you were doing a, a route as a wide receiver. Uh, so we're going to start off in a wide receiver stance and you're going to focus on the footwork and then you're going to focus on the breakout after you get to the last cone. This drill is also going to involve nine cones. I'm going to show you a video of how Tyree Kill does the drill and then I'm going to show you how we can replicate that. Start a wide receiver stance, sprint up, juke move. Sprint out. So that's the six different drills we have today from Tyra Kill's training workout routine that he does on field. So if you did enjoy this kind of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Omar Dozenings because we're gonna have a lot more videos of these types of ideas coming to the channel and I don't want you guys to miss out. As always, I hope you did enjoy and Stay tuned for much more on the way. See you guys in the next video. Peace.